Welcome back, Gators. I'm David. And I'm Tyler. Welcome back to another edition of Swamp Talk. Seniors, don't forget that April 30th is Grad Bash. Any senior that wants to participate must pay a $50 deposit. The total cost is $140, and you can purchase the tickets on Acorn. Want to know what the weather is going to be like this weekend? Natasha has you covered. Hi, Gators. This is Natasha here for this weekend's weather forecast. Friday will be a 30% chance of rain with a high of 79 and a low of 60. Saturday will be breezy with a 20% chance of rain, a high of 73 and a low of 57. Sunday will be a high of 77 and a low of 62. Have a great weekend. Now back to our anchors. Thanks, Natasha. As you know, the Super Bowl was last Sunday. So I put together a recap of what went down. So let's check it out. What's going on, Gators? Today we're going to recap the Super Bowl from last Sunday and show you guys what went down just in case you missed the big game. Starting in the first quarter, Matthew Stafford finds Eldell Beckham and he catches it right on top of the defender on the wheel route for the first score of the game in a Rams touchdown. The Bengals have the drive of their own as Jamar Chase has an amazing one-handed grab and burns Jalen Ramsey as he gets him into the red zone. But after the drive stalls out and it's a 3 and out, Evan McPherson kicks a 29-yard field goal and the score is now 7-3 at the end of the first quarter. The second quarter begins and the Rams waste no time as Matthew Stafford play actions, rolls out, and finds Cooper Cup in the corner of the end zone for another Rams touchdown. The score is now 13-3, but after that on the PAT, the holder bobbles the snap and Johnny Hecker, the punter, throws it and it gets picked off. But they really do nothing with it besides lateral lit at least one time, and the score is now 13-3. But the Bengals come up with a trick play of their own as Joe Burrow tosses it to Joe Mixon who then throws it to T. Higgins in the corner of the end zone and it's a Cincinnati as touchdown. As you look at the replay at this touchdown, everybody thinks it's a simple toss and that he's going to take it to the outside. But the DB falls for it and it makes T. Higgins wide open in the corner of the end zone. The first turnover of the game occurred on the very next drive as Matthew Stafford rolls out and he throws a deep ball and throws an absolute laser to the wrong team. Jesse Bates III picks him off in the end zone, but both teams do nothing with the ball and now we go into halftime. Rams 13, Bengals 10. The second half starts and the Bengals wasted absolutely no time as Joe Burrow throws an amazing ball to T. Higgins over Jalen Ramsey and he takes it all the way for another Bengals touchdown. And with the PAT being good, the Bengals now take the lead 17-13. And now Matthew Stafford on the very next drive throws an interception to a Wouzier, and now the Bengals get the ball in good field position. But the Bengals do nothing on that drive, and McPherson kicks another field goal, making a score 20 to 13. The Rams' next possession ends up in a three and out, and now Matt Gay has to kick the field goal, making a score 20 to 16. And with the game on the line, Matthew Stafford throws a lob pass to Cooper Cup over Eli Apple for the go-ahead Rams touchdown. Like they say, big-time players make big-time plays in big-time games. And that's what Cooper Cup did right there, jumping over Eli Apple and mossing him for the touchdown. And the Bengals have one more shot, but on fourth and one, Aaron Donald gets to Joe Burrow and he throws it away and it falls incomplete. And that right there will be your Super Bowl, as the Los Angeles Rams are your Super Bowl champions. During the Super Bowl ceremony, Cooper Cup was named Super Bowl MVP. That does it for your Super Bowl recap. Now back to your anchors. Super Bowl was a lot of fun to watch this year. Thank you for the coverage, David. Staying in the sports realm, tonight girls basketball plays in the state's Elite Eight and girls soccer plays in the state's Final Four. Good luck, Gators. Now, let's go to Reggie and Michael for our weekly sports update. Thank you, guys. As most of you know, lots of athletes drink Gatorade to stay hydrated during practices and games. But which flavors taste good? Which ones don't? Emily and Nicole asked some athletes and had them taste test some flavors to find out. Hey guys, so today we are doing a Gatorade segment where we have a couple of football players come in and try to guess Gatorade flavors while being blindfolded. Oh, I'm Kenan, a uh, junior. I play wide receiver. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, the grape. Yeah, you got it right. Yeah. I think that's orange, actually. Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, the, the lime one. No, 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 it's red. Uh, right. I don't know. The lemon one? Yeah. I'm going to give you two, and you're going to have to guess which one's the blue Gatorade and which one is the Powerade. Oh, that's Gatorade. Oh no, that one's Gatorade. And the other one's a Powerade, so. No, you're wrong. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> That's the white one. Yeah, you got it right. 
<laughs> All right, my name is Kevin Taylor, and I play offensive line and defensive line. Is this the red one? Yeah. This is grape. Yeah. Lemon lime. Yep. <laughs> The blue one? <laughs> no. The orange one? No. <laughs> oh. oh, it's white. Uh, Next, you're going to be guessing between the Gatorade and the Powerade. This is the Powerade. Okay. They're the same. <laughs> They're the same. No, you got it wrong. What? They're How? They're not no. the same. Dude, they taste exactly the same. We can't orange. Tell you. I didn't say orange. Is this orange? Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm Hunter Sullivan, senior, running back. That's lime. Yeah, I'm going with lime. <laughs> it's orange. What? Is that red? <laughs> Is that purple? Yeah, you got that one right. Okay. Oh, that's lime. Yeah? I guess no, I'm pretty confident. Yeah, you got the one right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give you one uh, that's Powerade and one that's Gatorade, and you're going to have to guess. That's Gatorade. Yeah? That's Powerade. Okay, you're wrong. Yeah. Hey. God, what flavors have I not gotten? Is that red? Yeah. That ain't good. I don't know, purple? Maybe, I don't know, but that ain't good. Do you want to take off your blindfold and see what color it is? I can't see. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you want to see more coverage regarding the Gatorade segment, we have a separate post on the channel here. Thanks, guys. As we celebrate Black History Month, the school's Hariah Club has another video for us. Let's check it out. African-American teenager Emmett Teal was murdered while visiting the South in the 1950s. His death helped to bring about the Civil Rights Movement in 1955. When he was 14 years old, he took a trip to Mississippi to spend the summer with his relatives. Teal had been warned by his mother that the whites in the South might not be tolerant behavior that was accepted in the North. On August 24, Till went to a grocery store and interacted with a white woman. The white woman accused him of grabbing her and acting infinitely towards her inside the store. As a result, Till was kidnapped, tortured, and murdered by the husband of the white woman and the half-brother. In 2017, it was revealed that the white woman lied about what happened inside the store. Thank you, guys. That's all for today, Gators. Tune in next week for another edition of Swamp Talk.